Hey guys, so we're going to talk today about widget to widget communication. So right here I have widget A, which is just a single button that says damage, and when I click on this, we're going to take health away from the player. And I also have widget B, which is just a simple progress bar that we're going to be modifying this variable here, the percent. And you can see here in my player character, I've added a widget component, and this is our widget B. I've set the class over here in widget class to be widget B, and this is our health bar for the player. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go into the event graph of the player, and on begin play, we're going to create widget here, and this is going to be widget A. And the owning player is get player controller. And we're going to promote this. Actually, we don't need that. We will just add this to the viewport. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this widget here. And even though we have set this in our viewport to be widget B, right now this is just an empty container, it's just a widget container. So we need to use this node called get user widget object. This gets the instance that's located in the container, but even this isn't enough to actually modify the variables in our widget B. We then need to take this and cast to widget B. Now we'll hook this up, and this pin right here is an actual copy of the widget B that's on the player. So what we want to do here is right click and promote this to a variable so we can store it as a reference. So we'll say widget B reference. Now our player character is set up. I also have these two variables, health and max health, and that's what I'm going to be using to set the percent. So we'll go into widget B now, and we'll go into the graph, and we need to get a reference to our player. So we'll say cast to player character, and we will get the player character here. And then we'll right click here and promote to variable, player ref. And what we need to do is just copy these two because we'll be using it again. So control C on that. And then we want to make one function in here. So we'll go up here to function, click on it, and say update health. And we'll grab this progress bar. And we'll say set percent. Now we want to set this percent to the player's health. So we'll need our player reference. We'll get that. We'll get health. This is the variable located in the player blueprint. And we'll get max health. And then we're going to divide these two. And this is going to give us our percentage of health that we will then set the progress bar to. So we'll compile and save. Now we'll go into widget A, and we need to make an on-click event for this. So for our damage button, we want an on-click event right here. But we need a reference to our player first. So this is where we're going to paste in those other two nodes, control V. And hook this up. Right click here, and we'll promote it to a variable. Player ref. Now we'll use our player ref here, we'll get it, and we will get health, and what we're going to do is subtract some amount, we'll say 15, and then we want to grab from the player a set health, and we'll set it to this new value. And the final thing we need to do, because we created the widget in the player, widget B, we're actually going to go in here and get that reference to widget B. So you don't want to get widget. This is just the empty container. And you don't want to get these health bar widgets either. You want to get the reference that we created right here. Get widget B reference. And then we'll call the update function from widget B. So now when we click the damage button, we're going to subtract 15 from the health, set it, and then we'll go into the widget that's actually on the player and have it call that function. So compile and save all of that. 
Now when we go out and we hit play, you see our health bar here. And when I hit damage, you see it goes down. So now we've got one widget talking to another widget. Alright guys, if you thought that was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you later.